Fighting in this environment is a huge challenge. Soldiers need all the help they can get. And that includes having weapons that are specifically adapted for fighting in extreme cold. That's crucial for the ultimate winter warrior. The sniper. The key to it is understanding the cold weather. Weapon consultant Frank Fletcher is a former sniper with the British Army's Parachute Regiment. The human body is pretty tough. Even at sub-zero temperatures, you can still operate. Um, it's particularly tough as a sniper because you've got to spend long periods uh, keeping still. But snipers are historically extremely effective in cold environments uh, and they, they can actually do a lot of damage. One sniper can change the whole dynamic of the battlefield, particularly in Arctic conditions. But to be effective at their job, they need a reliable sniper system. Accuracy International, based in England, has developed a weapon for the Sub-Zero Sniper. The Arctic Warfare Super Magnum. Already used by Special Operations Command in the United States, the Arctic Warfare Super Magnum is being issued to snipers in the British military. It's a bolt-action rifle with a range of over a mile. It fires the incredibly powerful 338 caliber Lapua round, considered by many experts as the best round ever made. It's a heavy bullet, uh, very useful if you're wearing body armor. Remember in the Arctic, you're wearing lots of clothing and stuff. 7.62 to a long range is gonna maybe be pushed to penetrate that. Uh, this will certainly shoot for it. When temperatures drop to 50 below, it's so cold you can't even touch the weapon without gloves. They even designed a trigger housing large enough to fit a gloved finger. But the most innovative part is in the design of the bolt. This is a typical bolt from a, a, a standard rifle. As you can see, it's fairly smooth uh, and it's a, designed to lock tight inside the rifle. You're gonna get a buildup of ice and snow on here and it's gonna freeze. Because they are these flat surfaces, the two pieces are really close to freezing together almost. That's it, and there's no leverage to, to break, the, break the bolt open to manipulate it. Okay, so how did you solve that problem? Okay, well, I'll, I'll show you. I'll illustrate it by this. Okay, now. there you go. Let's see if the grooves cut in. A number of grooves. Okay. And you're saying because of these grooves now, you have enough of an airspace that I can break free that ice just because of those small little grooves. Yeah, and the other thing is if you're using a an Arctic lubricant is going to sit in the wells of those holes. So again, that's going to act to stop it freezing. And for long-range shooting, they've made some modifications. They've added a muzzle brake to limit the flash, reducing the chance that the sniper will be spotted. A sniper's job isn't easy at the best of times, but operating in the Arctic has its own unique challenges. Conventional sniping in the Arctic would take twice as long. So your planning phase to move into an FFP, which is your final fire position where you're going to take your shot, would take twice as long to get in there. Once you're still, you start to get cold. Judging the winds, elevation, temperature, the bullet drop, all that stuff, you're pushing it to the extreme in Arctic temperatures. Very hard taking that shot when you're sitting there shaking. Which invariably happens, isn't it? Very hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> For winter warfare snipers that need to be able to count on a weapon to drop their target in one shot, the Arctic Warfare Super Magnum is a rifle designed to do that job. Next, over the frozen terrain of Alaska, fighter pilots are tearing up the Arctic sky.